Hi everybody, it's Tuesday, which means it's Crafternoon here at the Northboro Free Library. And you are here crafting with me, Miss Lindsay, and my good friend, Miss Carly. And we are thrilled to let you know it is Arctic Animals Week. Ooh. <laughs> Put those parkas on because mm -hmm. it's cold in the Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this week, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to come to the library and you're going to go around the side entrance, the children's store. And right outside there, there will be a big bin with Crafternoon supply bags in there. So once you pick up your materials and you are ready to craft with us, you are going to need some scissors. You are going to need some craft glue. So a glue stick might work, but it'll just take a lot more persistence. Or okay. some regular white glue. Regular again. Elmer's glue would be fine. Oh, Absolutely. Here, will Absolutely. Or in a pinch the tape. Masking tape, Absolutely, maybe? sure. Mm -hmm. Why not? Or yeah. glue dot. If you got glue dots, glue dot, blue tape, paint tape would actually blue. have really yeah. well. What color is our craft today? Our narwhal's gonna be blue. We're making narwhals. Mm -hmm. All right, you're gonna need a paintbrush, and you can use a black marker, or um, if you have black paint, or any other color marker would be great to just do some facial features and your bag of materials. Now in your bag of materials, you're going to have a section of egg carton. You're gonna have some googly eyes. You're gonna have some blue paint. You're gonna have some yellow card and some blue card. And you're also gonna have a little envelope that has glitter in it, okay? Let your grown up know, hey grown up, I'm working with paint. I'm working with glitter. I'm probably gonna make a mess. Maybe okay. put some newspaper down. Maybe put some newspaper down or make sure you're working in an area that's easily cleaned up wherever your grown-up says is okay. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this and we want to be able to separate the two bumps, the two sections, because we're going to glue them together to create the narwhal's body like that. Okay. So we're going to take our scissors. I'm going to separate them first. So I'm going to create two separate cups. And then I'm going to cut around the edge to make a smooth circle edge like that. And you want to do that on both of them. You might need some grown-ups help cutting the cardboard. It can be tricky to cut. All right, so you want to make sure that they're going to fit together okay when it's time to glue them. All right, before we paint them, let's make sure that they're gonna fit together. All right, mine looks like it might need a little bit of a trim. Just a smidge. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then you're going to paint it blue, okay? Now, you could glue it and then paint it. Either way, you're gonna have to wait for something to dry. So I prefer to paint it first. And you're just going to paint your narwhal body blue. The paint should dry pretty quickly because egg carton material, this like porous cardboard is very absorbent and it'll soak that paint up lickety split. And the thinner you work with it, the faster it'll dry. If you do really big globs, it'll take a little longer. But yep, that's and that's okay. okay. Yep, it's totally up to you how you want. And maybe you maybe you have paint at home and you want to paint your narwhal a different color. That's fine too. That's okay. So narwhals have a very prominent feature of having a tusk sticking out of the the middle of their head, kind of like a unicorn. The unicorns of the sea. Yes. They live in Arctic oceans. And they're really a cool animal. If you've never seen a picture of a real narwhal, I encourage you to get your grown-up to help you look it up. We read about narwhals in Preschool Explorers this morning. You did? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. oh, we coordinated the craft well, and everything. You did you know that male narwhals and some female narwhals have tusks? But not all female narwhals have tusks. Really? I did not know mm -hmm. that. 
I did not know that. So I am almost done painting mine. Almost. And I'm doing it nice and thin because I want it to dry really quickly. And while Miss Carly finishes painting hers, I'm going to grab Amber's glitter. <gasps> glitter. I know. Well, you know, my favorite crafts have glitter misses. Of course they do. Glitter is very important. It is. Oh, I'm painting my fingers blue. That's okay. You're getting a little messy. <gasps> Crafting is messy. Learning is messy. It's okay if you get a little bit of paint on yourself. It's not a big deal. Just as long as you help clean up afterwards, mm -hmm. right? And my grown-up nose. I'm getting a little messy. True, true. <laughs> so the next thing that you're going to do once your uh, narwhal body is dry, is you're gonna glue the pieces together. Now, Miss Carly and I, we're gonna work with some wet paint because we're in a time crunch. Mm -hmm. yeah, we don't wanna sit around with you and watch paint dry. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, pretty boring video. <laughs> we're gonna work with um, the wet narwhal body. Although I, ooh. I'm doing my, uh, the spout on my glue is all clogged up. And so I am being, I'm being creative. really messy. <laughs> You're being creative. I'm something. being creative. I'm trying to get it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing creative. this with a pin, but we don't have a pin here right now. So we're just going to yeah. go for it, aren't we? All right. So you're going to use plenty of glue. And again, you're probably going to have to wait for it to dry. Or you can be messy like this, or you as, can long be as, messy grown up as long as your grown-up knows and your grown-up says it's okay. And you know what? Sometimes your egg cup might sit inside the other egg cup, and that's okay, too. Mm -hmm. So I've got a really messy one. And I'm a little messy. I'm really messy. I'm medium messy. I'm getting better. I'm Hi. super messy. <laughs> <laughs> super messy. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is um, cut out your tusk, flippers, and tails. But I'm going to go rinse my fingers, and that's probably going to take a time. Cool. Because we don't want any glue all over. Sounds good, but I'm gonna cut my tusk out. Let's see. While I'm waiting, I'm getting a little glue on some stuff. That's okay too. I'm gonna cut a nice big tusk. And our tusk is long and pointy like a unicorn horn. Yeah. Mine's gonna look something like this. I might make it a little bit skinnier though. Okay. What do you think, Miss Lindsay? Ooh, tusk that's like. a wonderful tusk. Oh, well, thank you. Lovely. So, while you rinse your fingers, I'm going to cut out my tusk. I'm okay. You're okay? okay. Excellent. You were a lot already. less messy than I it's was. It's dried already. All right, I'm going to cut out my tusk. And then flippers and a tail? Flippers and a tail. That sounds you like can... a good thing to make blue, maybe. I see yeah. yellow in the picture. I think I might make mine blue. You can, you can make whatever color you like. Cool. I've got a tusk there. And I'm going to do, you know, I think I'm going to do a yellow tail and blue flippers. That's fancy. You know, I like to have a nice colorful narwhal. I so like for the tail, I just kind of cut it out kind of like a fish. All right. Kind of like a heart without a point. Now to glue it on, you might need to fold the very edge so that you have a flat piece. To put the glue on, okay, my friends. Please. So you have a tusk. Could you do that for your tusk too. I would suggest doing that for your tusk, mm -hmm. but if you figured out a different way, hey, outstanding. Cool. So you can see that the fins kind of look like fish fins. All right, they kind of look like that, but you can make them any shape you want. Maybe you want pointy triangle fins. Maybe you want round oval fins. It's totally up to you because that's the great thing about crafting is that you get to create what you want. So I've got two flippers. I've got a narwhal tusk. I've got a narwhal tail. I've got my two googly eyes from my craft supply bag. And now you're going to build your narwhal by gluing all of those things on. Again, it's time to get messy. <laughs> My glue is messy. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna wipe off my paintbrush and use my paintbrush. That was what glue. I was just gonna say. Miss Lindsay, you 
read my mind. Ooh, you didn't know that I was a mind reader? That's scary. <laughs> You're gonna have to think about bananas, but oh, bananas. bananas! You're hungry? Yes. Hungry for ba banana cream pie? Mm -hmm. So you are gonna put your eyes on. You're gonna decide which side is the front. And I see mine. When I mine sits, it sits like that. So I'm gonna put my front here. Let's see, I actually have some extra glue oozing out the Whoa. side. I'm going to use that to stamp with this one. There you go. I'm going that for it. That is using your resources wisely. You glue your eyes on. I'm going to glue my tail on next. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on that little lip that we folded. Glue it on. Whoop, he's sticking to me. And then the same thing with the tusk. I'm just going to fold a little lip, a little fold, so that I have a place to put my glue. And maybe you have a better way of doing it. That's totally up to you. Awesome. And you glue your flippers on. Mm -hmm. And then, my friends, because they live under the sea and the sea is glittering and wonderful, if you want, you can use the glitter to decorate your narwhal. Maybe you could give it some spots on its back or its belly. Yep. And then you can, once your narwhal is dry, I'm assuming y'all are working with a dry narwhal. You can also use your black marker to put a little happy face on there or a brownie face or whatever kind of face you like. A silly face. Maybe. A silly face. All right. See, I've still got some wet glue and I am going to use that wet glue to put glitter on my narwhal. Oop, and his dust fell off. That's He's okay. so messy. <laughs> I have a little glue oh my goodness. He's so messy. Oh, and so sparkly at the same time, which I love. Cool. I'm a big fan of sparkles. Sparkles. Sparkles for everybody. All right. And a little glitter. Take your back room. Yep, I gotta hold my tusk on there. There he is. Now he's got some green sparkles there. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna wait for my glitter to dry a little bit before I try to put my flippers on. But here we go. Look at these guys. And what's a narwhal without glitter? Mm -mm. You know? I don't know. So these fancy narwhals are just so exciting and hopefully you take some time to learn a little bit more about narwhals the mm -hmm. arctic animals mm -hmm. so thank you so much for joining us for craft your noon today we hope you have a fantastic week bye, bye friends